Welcome, Gemini, to your uh, messages from your ancestors reading. Gemini, if this reading does not resonate with you, please go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs readings, as those readings might have more relevant information for you at this time. We're going to have a look and see what messages are coming through for you for May 2022 from your ancestors, dear Gemini. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have for our dear Geminis. Right, so the first message we're getting is mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Okay, so they want your ancestors want to, you to kind of take a close look at what is triggering you because there can be an important message to take action. We will get more clarification because I'm going to clarify this card with an oracle card. So, but they are definitely, they want you to take a look at what is triggering you and then we're going to see the course of action that needs to take place from that. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. That is such a beautiful message coming through. They just want you to know, Gemini, you are not alone. You have got your ancient ancestors are standing by you through everything you go through, through everything they, you do. They're with you. They've got your back and they're looking lovingly on at you as you go through your life. Then we've got the card, Mintakin, longing for home, belonging the original light workers. So they're acknowledging that a lot of you are original light workers, and you are here on a very special message, a special mi mission. Sorry, a very special mission, and they're also letting you know that for a lot of you, you long for home because you you. You need that sense of belonging with like-minded people. And I th think what a very good thing would be is to try and find other light, light workers and like-minded people because, you know, you light, light, light workers are very, very sensitive to energies. And, you know, we go, the world is going through such a, it's so harsh at the moment and we're going through so much. Um, disruption and we seeing so many hard cruel things that are going on in the world and for light workers they take it all on and you can be feeling the energy especially so and your ancestors are just saying you need you know that belonging I think it would be a really good thing is if you could find a community where you can just belong, speak about what you're feeling and people will get it and understand immediately. Okay, and then we've got the card Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? Okay, so they also want you to, they, so we've got something that's triggering you that could also be related to some kind of journey. So there could be, perhaps you've, def, you know, you've got a just a, a calling or a triggering to take a trip, maybe to take a trip, a trip to an ancient place, maybe to Egypt or to um, any of the ancient sites, because there is some kind of energetic um, environment there and energies there that is going to be beneficial for you. So they want you to kind of look at what what journey are you being called to. To, to 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 look at what are you being where are you being called to journey to right let's take a look at the oracle further oracle cards to see if we can get more insight into all of this the first one is truth willpower Pentagon we've got beauty okay that's come makes sense for your light workers you all see a very special beauty inside and there's going to be inspiration okay so that's coming through nice and clear okay so let's go back to our message with the mirror 
what or who is triggering you. So there is some something that's triggering you because there is a truth that needs to be revealed, a truth that, that needs to come out. So for each of you, this is going to be very, very specific. It could be a person that is triggering you. Maybe somebody is um, pushing your buttons. And, you know, sometimes we don't, we have people in our lives that push our buttons because they make us see the truth when we really don't want to see the truth or acknowledge something. Um, maybe there is a situation that's triggering something in you because there is a truth that needs to be revealed, that it's something you have to look at closely and see, aha, uh -huh, okay, this is what it's all about and plan your next move forward. So your ancestors want you to see, want you to know that whatever is triggering you, there is something you need to acknowledge and see. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful because we've got our ancestors who are telling you that they, that you're not alone, that they see you as you are in your beautiful glory with all your potential and they're standing by you as you manifest your dreams into reality. As you can see, this, this person, this beautiful woman is standing strong and proud. She has the earth in one hand, the moon in the other hand. She is calling in what she wants her future to be. And your ancestors are just saying, we see you, we acknowledge your strength, and we're standing by watching you as you make your way through this lifetime, making your dreams a reality. Lovely, lovely message. Okay. They also want you to know that, as I mentioned, you know, with it being light workers, many of you are light workers, and there is a special beauty that you have within, a special essence that light workers have, and you recognize this in other light workers. So they really want you to know that the world is going through a really harsh period and reach out, find communities where you can see the mirror self of, your, of your, yourself, see like-minded people that will get you straight away. Like if you, you know, you meet with them and you say, wow, I'm just feeling so burdened with all the news coming on. And they go like, yeah, we get it. We understand completely. So they want you to really reach out and find those people so that you, you're not alone um, and you don't have this like sense of like I, you know, I'm I'm on this I'm in this on my own. And another message. It's interesting, um, Gemini, because all your messages are very specific. With this, where are you being called to journey? So wherever it is, if it is in um, Egypt, Greece, wherever this ancient, well, it could be anywhere. You know, it could just be like a lovely resort. They want you to know that you're being called to travel to take this journey for a reason. You are going to find very specific inspiration for you there. They want you to realize you've been called to this place for a reason. Like I say, it doesn't have to be in one of these ancient places. It just could be a beautiful resort in the Bahamas or Costa Rica, anything. But there's going to be something specific for you that is going to ignite inspiration. Lovely, lovely messages coming through for you, Gemini. Right, I'm going to pull another energy card to see the energy your ancestors would like you to work with in the month of May. So let's get another energy card for you. Ah, this is lovely. We've got the Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. That's so lovely. They're just telling you, you go forth. You do what you got to do. You be fearless. We've got your back. You've got things happening around you, things that are triggering you, things that are truth being revealed, inspiration coming through, finding like-minded people. You go about your business. Be fearless and bold. You're doing a superb job. Right, I'm going to pull a final message from your ancestors for you Gemini let's get a final message for our dear okay we first we've got the tower okay so it tells me in this reading when the tower happens it's because of the rest of the cards here it's like there's something sudden 
there's something sudden that's going to happen for you and it's not a negative it's not a negative thing because the rest of the cards are so positive it's definitely not a negative thing i've got the queen of cups it tells me you're really like you're emotionally strong you're emotionally stable you can go ahead and be fearless and bold something sudden is going to happen maybe with this trigger say maybe some truth is going to be revealed to you maybe you're going to meet like a group of like-minded people suddenly maybe this trip will happen quicker than you think just a sudden thing is going to happen for you so just expect that kind of like spontaneous quick kind of thing and then the last card we get is the ace of pentacles like i said this the suddenness is it's like something new comes in new people a new trip something revealed something triggering you like you look at something and go uh huh i get it now so it's nothing to be alarmed about it just happens quickly so lovely messages coming through from your ancestors dear gemini i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please go ahead and share give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'm sending you all lots of love